to the unboxing of my new telescope. It's exciting times when you get that new telescope and open it up for the first time. It's a 4 inch apochromat from the telescope service in Germany. It's their TS Photon F7. It's um, bought from the Swedish Astroshop Astro Sweden, which I really can recommend. They gave me a really good price, although they had to import it from Germany. And it's uh, nice to to buy from uh, a domestic firm which has uh, such good uh, service and, and can help you to choose uh, what you should use. In this case, uh, they really recommended the uh, doublet instead of a triplet because we live in the north of Sweden where it's really cold and uh, triplets can have problems with pinching of the optics. Hopefully this telescope shouldn't have it since it's a triplet and it's uh, a temp temperature compensated cell in it. Let's hope that it has arrived from, from Germany in good shape. The boxes were quite good but there were some marks on them. And it was in the same time as the Black Friday, so I think there were more than <coughs> one package coming from Germany at this time. This is really exciting. Now I can see the telescope for the first time. It's actually smaller than I expected, shorter anyway than I expected. So oh, let's see if I can lift it here. This is always a critical moment when it comes to unboxing. You don't want to drop it the first thing you do. So we'll try and hold it tight and remove the boxes. Put it down carefully. See if we can open the, the bag and get it out. As I said, it's a dupla. Or I perhaps I didn't say it, but it's a dupla telescope. Yes, I said it. And it's uh, one thing, the reason is to, to keep it from pinching the optics in the cold. And another reason is that it becomes much lighter. You can the, the telescope weighs about 4 kilograms. I think it looks beautiful so far. Let's take a look on the other side. So we we'll see if there is anything, any marks on it or anything. It looks really nice, I think. TS photo line. I've seen the reviews on the, on the net from this. Uh, where they photographed Vega for 15 seconds and it didn't show any color. So I have good hopes that it will be very color colorless even on uh, bright stars when you image with it. And that is my intended purpose also, kind of high resolution imaging on using um, the ASI 183 camera together, sometimes at least with a field flat and, a, and reducer. I have a 0 0.6 version. So you have something like this in the back of the telescope. I can't get it out now. Yeah, I'll have to check how I get this to loosen. Like this. So I think it's I 
actually a rotating lock. This I didn't expect. This is nice. And also the complete focuser rotates. I think you loosen it here and it goes like this so you can frame objects more easily. Using the reducer, I get uh, about 420 millimeters and uh, slightly above f4. And I get an image scale of around 1.1 arc seconds with uh, the ASI 183. Okay, now it's really exciting. Let's open and look at the lens for the first time ever. Oh, it's beautiful, really beautiful, kind of like a diamond. And with the dew shield retracted, it's only 60 centimeters long. And when you extend it, I guess it goes up to about 80. And it has a Micro focuser also. Remove this plastic protection. Nice looking, very smooth. And it comes uh, with uh, a connector for the guide scope or for a finder scope. So I'll, I'll use this for high resolution imaging with. Uh, uh, the ASI, 06 reducer and uh, uh, both uh, monochrome filters like H-alpha and O3 and also broadband. Broadband I probably also use it with a micro four thirds camera like when photographing galaxies. Perhaps even without the reducer and focal, focal reducer and flattened. Yeah, thanks. This is a nice front view of the TS photo line. It shows uh, a lot of baffles down the tube, all the way down to the focuser. And the lens kind of disappears, even I, though I have a flash on. And it, there is a slight green hue from the coatings it's uh, really beautiful i think i must say i also like the silver lining on the telescope with the silver on the knobs and on the dew shield and uh, back on the focuser and on the focuser knob and a nice surprise was the rotation lock on the focuser it uh, will make it easier to get the camera and the reducer lined up in the telescope so we don't get any tilt or shift. I mounted the guide scope just to get a feeling of how everything looks when mounted. I think it's uh, nice with the black guide scope together with the black of the telescope. I think it's really beautiful. Can you hear that I'm satisfied? It will be really interesting to see what images I can get out of this.